What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codeby.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a software registration key generator for Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at generating a software registration key. What do I mean by that? So you build some software, you want to sell it or have people use it, but you want them to register in order to use it. So you need to generate a registration key. And you can see I've got one right here. And there it is. Now, that key needs to mean something. Otherwise, it's just random letters and numbers. So we also need to be able to validate it to make sure it's a real key that meets some sort of standard that we say is a valid key. So I can click this again. We see we get another one. And you can see we've got a score here. Our key has generated a score. I'll tell you what that means. And it's showing here valid every time I click it because I've built it to only show valid keys. So before we start building this thing, we need to sort of talk about what makes a key valid or not. And there are a million and one different ways to do this because valid means anything you say it means. So if I say this key is valid because of some reason, it's valid. If I say this key is valid because it has a nine right here and only keys that have a nine right here are valid, then that's a valid key. So you want to be a little more realistic than that because someone might be able to figure out, hey, every key that has a nine right there seems to be valid. But for the most part, how is anybody going to know if having a nine right there is what makes your key valid, right? So we're going to be more complicated than that than having a nine there, obviously, but it doesn't have to be any more difficult than that. So if we look through here, we can see there's a P. If we look here, here's another P and then here's another P. One of the rules that I created for my keys is that whatever the third character is right here, that has to show up at least two other times somewhere in the key. So if we click this again, we can see the third character is now six. Here's a six and here's a six. So there's three sixes in this key. That's valid, right? If I click it again, here's a two. Well, here's a two and here's a two. So the, there are three twos in this key, so that makes it valid. That's one of the things that I've determined makes my keys valid. I also want my keys to have a score between 1700 and 1800. And I get that score by adding up all of the letters and numbers in this key. So ASCII characters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five, whatever, those characters have numeric values and Python can convert them into their numeric values and add them up. And as long as they score between 17 and 1800, I'm saying for me, my key is valid. So in this case, our key has to have between 1700 and 1800 score. And it has to have the third value in the key has to appear two more times in that key. So here M, right? So that has to show up two more times. There's an M there and there's an M there. One of the rules for validating our key has been met. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to set this up. And this is really nice because you don't have to keep track of these keys, right? Sometimes if you give somebody a registration key, you have to keep track of that key in a database and then match it up to determine whether it's valid. Well, we don't have to do that here. We have a sort of algorithmic determination on whether or not a key is valid or not. And just by doing the rules that I've created, and the rules can be anything you want. We could say, hey, the first digit, this one, needs to show up four times somewhere else in here. That's a valid rule too. Any rule you want, we can do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it all. You don't have to have a score, right? You can leave that part off. You could just do this, you know, the M thing right here twice, twice more, whatever you want. The sky's the limit. You can be as creative as you want. And the more complicated you make it, A, the harder it's going to be to generate the key, but also B, the harder it'll be to crack it. So you want to sort of pair those two. You want to make it easy enough to generate it quickly, but then hard enough not to be able to easily be cracked, right? So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Kinter playlist with almost 200 other Kinter videos. So check that out if you haven't so far. So, okay, this is our basic Kinter starter code we've always got, no big deal. So let's start just by roughing out the GUI for this. So let's start out by creating a button. So let's call this generate underscore button. And this is gonna be a button. We wanna put it in root. We want the text to equal generate E. And let's give this a font of Helvetica and like a size of 32 to make it bigger. And let's run a command of generate whenever this button gets called. And we haven't actually created that function yet. We'll do that in just a second. For now, let's generate underscore button 
dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of like 50 to really push it down the screen. And while we're thinking about it, let's uh, generate key. And we'll define that as generate. And for now, I'll just pass. Okay, so we've got our button. Underneath the button, we want somewhere to put the key itself. And I'm gonna make this an entry box so that we can copy and paste it if we want to. So let's call this uh, key underscore label. And instead of making it a label, I'm gonna make it an entry box, because that's a little confusing. And let's put it in a root, and let's make the font here, again, Helvetica. And let's make this size like 24. We don't wanna have a border around this box, so let's put a border of zero. And let's give it a background color of system button face. That'll make it the gray of our regular app so that it just sort of blends in with the background. Okay, and while we're at it, let's give it a width of 25 just to make sure it's nice and wide. So, okay, that looks good. Now let's key underscore label dot pack this guy. And let's also give this a pad Y of like, I don't know, 50 to push it down a little bit further. Okay, now we also want a verify label. And let's comment this E label. <laughs> I don't know, it's obvious. Uh, so we want to flash up a little message that say it that says, hey, your key is verified or no, it's not verified. So let's call this verify underscore label. And that's going to be a label. We want to put it in root. We want the text right now to say nothing or waiting, <laughs> right? Whatever. And let's also give this a font of Helvetica. And let's make this nice and big. And so let's go verify underscore label dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of like 10. And up here, let's give this label also a pad X of like 50. And I don't know, let's make our pad Y 10. So move it down a little bit and make sure it's kind of centered. So, okay, verify label looks good. And finally, let's uh, put a score label here. And we'll just call this score label. And that'll be a label. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal score for now. And also let's give this a font of, again, Helvetica and 32 to make it nice and big. And then let's score underscore label dot pack this guy and also give it a pad Y of 10, push it down the screen a little bit. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure everything's looking good here. So I called this register.py. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C GUI directory and let's just run Python register.py. But before we do that, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Whoa, weird commercial. So, okay, Python register.py. And when we do, we see this button here. It doesn't do anything yet. It has this waiting and it's got our score here. So, okay. And then right here is the entry box. You can see I, I could type stuff on it, but there's nothing there by default. So, Okay, that looks good. So now let's come up here and actually start to build stuff out. So in our generate function, which gets called when we press that button, first let's go key underscore label and let's dot delete from zero to end. Let's just clear the key label, right? So if we have to press this button several times, we won't, but at the beginning while we're working through it, we will have to press it several times. We wanna delete any registration key that we've generated previously. So we'll just do that. And then let's do the same thing for the verify label. And let's go dot config and set the text of that equal to nothing just to start out with zero. So, okay, so now let's set some defaults. So we're gonna have to generate something called a key. So I'll set that equal to nothing to start out with. And let's create a blob. And that's gonna be also nothing. And the blob is just gonna be, I'm gonna have our key look like this. So A, 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 A. B, 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 C, 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 D, 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 uh, one, 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 one. So we're gonna have four characters and we're gonna have five of these, I'm gonna call them blobs. So this is a blob, right? This is a blob, this is a blob. These four characters broken up by a, a hyphen there, that's our blob, right? You call it a chunk maybe or a whatever, just it's a, you know, a section. I Maybe mean, we'll call it section, <laughs> that's better. So section equals nothing, I like blob. Uh, okay, so then also we need to determine whether we're in a section or not, whether there's four things there. So we need to check the digit count and we'll set that equal to zero. Okay, so now let's create an alphabet and this is gonna be 
the things we're going to choose from to create our key. So I'm just going to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And if we also want to use numbers, we could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. So what we're going to do here is we're going to loop through here and randomly grab one of these digits and then slap it into our registration key. And then we're going to loop through it again and randomly grab another one and slap it into the key. Loop through it again. Maybe this time it grabs a number, 7, slap it into the key. So we're just sort of defining what we want to pull from to get our registration number, right? So, okay, that looks good there. So, like I said, our key is going to be something like AAA-BBBB-CCCC-DDDD-1 extra D, 1111. So we're going to have five sets of four, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's going to be 24 characters or 24 characters in our registration key. So let's create a loop. So let's say while the len of our key is less than 25, right? Because there's going to be, when it's done, it'll be 24 characters. And 24 is less than 25. So we're going to loop through there and generate our key as long as the key is less than 25, right? And to generate our key, like I said, we're going to loop through this thing and randomly grab one of the things. So we need to import random up here. So let's go import random. Okay. So then down here, Let's create a variable called character. And now let's randomly grab something from the alphabet. So we can do that by calling random.choice and then passing in alphabet, which obviously is this thing right here. So this line will just loop through all of these and randomly select one of the characters. And it will assign it to this car variable, right? So this could be D, it could be one. It could be M. It could be any of these things, and it will just slap it into that variable. So now, once we have that, we need to add it to our key. So let's go key, which starts out at zero, right? And let's go plus equal, and then let's just add in car. So let's say uh, add random choice to key. And here, let's say randomly pick digit from alphabet. Okay. Now, let's also add it to our section, right? So let's go section plus equals also car. So we're, we're adding it to the key. We're also adding it to the section. Also add the random choice to the section blob. <laughs> Maybe I should have named it blob. I like blob. It's a blob. It's a blob of four characters. I don't know. It's a section, section of four characters. Okay, so we're doing that. So now, Let's add in the dashes, right? Because here's our key. There's going to be four and then a dash or a hyphen, right? There'll be four and then a hyphen. Four more and then a hyphen. So let's add in those dashes or hyphens or whatever, slash hyphens, right? Okay, so let's go if the length, len, the len function calls the length. It will get the length of anything. So if the length of the section equals four, then let's add in a hyphen. So let's go key plus equals, and then let's just add in a hyphen. And then we want to reset our section, our blob. So let's go section equals nothing, right? Okay, maybe I'll comment here, reset the section to nothing. Okay, so that looks good there. So this will keep going. And remember, things start at zero. So we want from zero to 24. We don't want the 25th thing. So let's set key to all but the last digit. We don't want that 25th thing. We want only 0 to 24 because this is the 0th item. This is the first item, sec second item, third item, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we want 0 through 23, I guess. So to get that, we can just set key equal to key, and then negative one. This will give us everything up to the last digit, right? So, okay, that looks good. Okay, so now 
let's just output the key and see what this generated. So we can come down here and we've got our entry box here, which is key label. So let's come up here. So let's go key underscore label. And this is an entry box. So we have to dot insert in the zeroth position, we want to insert the key. Alright, so that should work. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run this guy. Head back over here and python register.py. Over here, boom, and here's a key. So pretty easy to generate this key. But we have absolutely no validation going on. This is just generating a random key. And remember, we want this zero to appear two more times. Well, it actually does in this one. Uh, we want this Y to appear two more times. It does not in this one. So we have to build out all that validation stuff. This video is getting a little bit long. We're gonna have to do that in the next video. But so far, very easy to generate a key. Now we just have to do the hard part of actually making it valid. And we'll look at that in the next video. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeb.com, and I'll see you in the next video.